What's better, an off-road van build-out or an off-road truck build-out? In this video, we're going over the pros and the cons of each, and we're focusing on a super unique company that's, that's not like a lot of others. Both of these builds are actually very comparable because they both come from the same company. It's Ross Monster. This is a local Colorado company here that does fully custom build outs on vans and on trucks. And so in this video, we get to check out what is the difference between the two. Ross Monster does custom builds on just about any layout, but this is a very common configuration of off-road van. This is a brand new 2023 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. It comes in a couple of different wheelbase configurations. This is the 144-inch wheelbase with all-wheel drive and a high roof, but you can do it on just about any configuration. Now for a truck, Ross Monster can build you something out of a Chevy like this 3500 Duramax diesel, or they could build you a Ram or a Ford. And this is an eight-foot bed, but of course the bed is removed, and they do a fully custom camper of their own design on the rear that you can configure any way you want. Now this is a larger vehicle than that 144 length Sprinter van that's behind us, but it's around the same length as a 170 inch wheelbase van. Now this new all wheel drive Sprinter is equipped with a four cylinder diesel engine. What you're looking at there is a two liter design with a turbocharger of course made into a new nine speed automatic transmission. And the power output is 211 horsepower and 332 pound feet of torque. Now Case mentioned dimensionally, this van is about three feet shorter than that 3500 truck. It's also significantly down to power and towing capacity, but it's also down on weight, the total curb weight on this vehicle is right around 8,100 pounds and it has about a thousand pounds of payload. One of the biggest advantages of doing a build based on one of these trucks is the fact that you can get something like this big diesel V8 6.6 Duramax with 445 horsepower, 910 pound feet of torque, all through an Allison 10 speed transmission, of course, four wheel drive as well. So this is going to get you a lot of towing capability, a lot of power, although it does come at the cost of weight. This whole rig is about 11,000 pounds, though it still has about 1,300 pounds of payload. Now this has a couple of benefits. First of all, it's very easy to get in and out of this van. Step up on this rock rail, step up here, and then you can hop in. But another cool advantage of the large opening is you can really have an indoor-outdoor camping situation. So this Ross Monster has a little table that folds down from the side right here. Now, if you want to hop in, get some food, hop out, you know, have friends sitting inside, friends sitting outside. This is a very uh, kind of modular configuration. Here on the truck, you do have a smaller door, though it's pretty easy to get opened up and you just have to duck a little bit to get in and out. So if you're going in and out frequently throughout the day, it's something to keep in mind, though, they did just come out with a new design for a door that has a top opening portion that lets you have a much easier time getting in and out. In order to get camping or adventuring, there is no setup needed whatsoever. And this is a high roof model. So even at six feet tall, I have pretty good headroom. You just park your van and that's where you're camping. Now, one of the big advantages of the truck is this pop top here. And all you do is hold this control. And as you can see, the roof starts to lift. Now, what you can do is you can put a memory setting into this switch so that you just hit it once and it pops up and you do the same thing to pop it down. However, this being a demo model, they make it so that you hold it so that you're not accidentally dropping the cabinets down on something you forgot that you left on the counter. But the big advantage here is that when you're driving down the road, this is as much as a foot shorter than the Sprinter van, which means it's easier to get into some kind of garage. And it also means that you're a lot lower profile when you're actually going down the road. So not pushing as much air and you're not quite as top heavy. And then once it's all the way up like it is right now, you've got tons and tons of headroom. The van is a great place to road trip because you sit so tall and you really have a great view of the world. And of course, it's open to get to the rear. No need to get out of the vehicle. You simply step out of your seat and hop to the back. Now, of course, you have two front seats in the van. And then this particular one is configured with another bench here. So it's heaped up up to four. But Ross Monster is a completely uh, customizable company, right? So any kind of configuration you want that's different from this, they can do. And in this config, these seats also swivel against the wall to give you a little bit more walking room. Now from the factory, this truck would actually be a six seater because you've got a bench up here in this particular configuration. And of course, this being a Chevy 3500, even though you don't have quite as high of a driving position as the Sprinter, you're still up pretty high. You've got a nice commanding road view. And this also has a pass through here in the back. Now, the reason this is a five seater instead of a six seater like a factory truck is because of that pass through. So here 
you still got two usable back seats and then you also have a way to get into your camper out here now it's not as big of an opening as it is in the sprinter but it's still plenty enough to get through if maybe it's cold outside and you don't really want to step outside. So Ross Monster will configure the outside of your Sprinter or your truck however you want in terms of accessories. We've got a number of things in this vehicle including jerry cans and of course the full size exterior mounted spare. But I want to talk about one fundamental design attribute of the van which is pretty cool. The dual opening rear door. So if for example you have a mountain bike or a motorcycle that you want to keep inside and secure you can ask Ross Monster to configure your van with e-track systems on the floor so you can tie stuff down for example um, but a downside of the van setup is it's just a fundamentally narrower vehicle on the inside than the truck so this is about an 80 inch wide platform so they have to get a little creative with the bed system and they have there's something pretty cool in this configuration this is a Murphy bed so you undo a couple of latches then this pulls down and rests up against the countertop and then we have a tri-fold mattress which then folds out like that. And now you've got a full 80 inches, the full width of the vehicle to sleep horizontally. Now in this configuration, this really is more of a two sleeper than a four sleeper. However, if you get a longer van or if you want to change the config, they can, uh, they can work with you on that as well. Now, one of the advantages of this truck not having doors in the rear is the fact that you actually have a sitting area here at the back where you could have a meal. And the other advantage of this area is that you can take this table you can place it right here to fill this gap take one of the cushions put it over so you have not only a sleeping area back here that is the size of a full mattress but then up front you have a queen size mattress that doesn't have to stow when you want to move around your camper it just stays in place stays set up and then because this is a fundamentally larger wider vehicle you actually have more width here to live in your space so you could walk by people. It's just a lot less narrow. Driving the Ross Monster Sprinter. Now, the Sprinter has a lot of really great attributes from a driving standpoint. And as I mentioned, it's primarily the fact you sit so gosh darn tall and you've got such large windows with a low belt line that gives you a fantastic view of the world. And on a road trip, in my opinion, there's almost nothing better than a full-size van. Off-road, these vehicles are quite top-heavy. This is a vehicle not intended for hardcore trail use. You can ask Ross Monster to add lift kits, aftermarket suspension to these vehicles to make them a little better, but you're fundamentally battling physics when it comes to the height and the width of these vehicles and some of the tougher trails. You can spec one of these trucks from the factory with a rear locker. It's got solid axle. I mean, there's so much that you can do in terms of steel bumpers and winches. You could get this from a different brand with a solid front axle as well. And so you could make one of these a pretty capable rig. You also have that lower height roof, so it means you're not as worried about trees and because it's wider and lower, it also means that you're not swaying back and forth quite as aggressively as you are in the van. One of the attributes I really enjoy about this Sprinter is the maneuverability. So it will fit in this wheelbase configuration in a standard parking spot. It's uh, got a really good turning radius for what it is and it's not that hard to back up or merge lanes. It's a pretty compact small vehicle considering you're carrying an entire house behind you. You have tons of horsepower, tons of torque, which means even though this is a big heavy rig, it has no problem getting motivated going down the road and especially out here in the mountains, all of this weight is easily moved by this big diesel V8. So just over 200 horsepower, but over 300 pound feet of torque doesn't sound like a lot for a vehicle that weighs over 8,000 pounds. At slow speeds, this Sprinter has plenty of power, a little bit too much throttle tipping for my liking, but it's a very drivable vehicle. The only place times where you really start to feel the lack of power is when you're going up mountain passes at eight, nine, 10,000 feet. This truck is actually on factory suspension and funny enough, I mean, it handles this kind of thing really well because this suspension is made to carry a lot of weight, which means over uneven ground, it doesn't feel overly stiff because it's doing exactly what it's supposed to. This Sprinter is rolling on stock height suspension and these four-wheel drive or actually all-wheel drive Sprinter now for 2023 are pretty um, pretty decent in terms of ground clearance. Um, you can get them with lift kits. This vehicle does have an aftermarket uh, shock and spring setup which helps it ride a lot better. 
but uh, that's really where you're going to start to see a lot of the, the pricing increases are when you start specking out really uh, really high-end suspension setups and bumpers and winches and that kind of thing. Now, one thing which is interesting is that this Sprinter no longer has a low-range transfer case. Mercedes has re-geared this vehicle, given it a new transmission with a much shorter first gear and a torque vectoring or brake lock differential vectoring, I should probably say, all-wheel drive system. It's a much more simple system than previous model years. You don't need to engage anything, no center diff lock to engage, it's all automatic. And I have to say, it's actually, it's pretty decent for what it is and gets you over a surprising number of obstacles considering it's just a single range system. Y you know, you could make the argument, well, what about locking your diffs? Case in that truck could spec a locking your diff. I can't in the Sprinter, but given how narrow and tall this vehicle is, there's not a lot of instances where you would want a locking your diff on a, on, a, on a difficult trail because you probably just shouldn't be going down that kind of trail in this vehicle. Now it's worth talking about some of this truck's competition because for these custom truck type build outs on the premium end of the spectrum, you can easily find some that are close to or beyond a million dollars, seven, eight, nine hundred thousand dollars or even more. And this is a lot less expensive than that. So sure, I mean, this is a really nice camper. It's a nice product, but it's not nearly as over the top expensive as a lot of custom truck based campers. Around the back of the truck, you still have a lot of gear storage, and this is one of the many very configurable things about these vehicles. You can set this up to have all kinds of gear on it. They do ski boxes, anything that you want. Right now, we've got some off-road recovery gear so that you can still take all your toys with you. So this Sprinter platform does allow a lot of storage on the roof. So if you have a ton of stuff and you want to store some of it on the roof, that is possible. We do have this uh, pretty cool little panel here which connects to some additional storage and it's also a ladder guard. And then you can climb up the ladder and get up on the roof. This rack system on this roof is pretty big and chunky. So if you have some extra luggage you want to store up here, you certainly could. You'll also find our 12 volt domain Medic AC unit, as well as a little roof vent here, and then we have about 200 watts of solar on this particular configuration. Now you can't get onto the top of this truck as easily as you can with the van, nor does it have that kind of storage, but because this is a bigger, wider, more boxed off area up top, you have 600 watts of solar versus 200 on the van, so a lot more solar. And there's still a lot of creative storage solutions on this vehicle, and actually both the truck and the van have this. It's a max track mount that doubles as a table. It's pretty cool. It is a little harder to fit a full-size shower in the van, especially if you have a 144 inch wheelbase, because there's just not that much room or width compared to the truck platform. However, Ross Monster does have some creative solutions, such as this fold down shower with a curtain that you can put up, hang from the roof, and have a little privacy. And the kitchen configuration on this build out is really cool. So we do have a sink here with little boards so you can have extra counter space. That opens up. This particular van does have a 30 gallon water tank. If you want to put a ton of water on board, it's easier to do so in the truck platform. And then we also have our little cooktops here as well with lots and lots and lots of space for cutting and uh, getting stuff ready for meal time. We also have a fridge in this van. It's a mini fridge, but very high quality. Folds out from underneath the cooktop there and they got a great place to store stuff, keep it nice and cold. The truck actually uses the same shower system here that the van uses. So it's just something that you unfold and it's super compact, which leaves a lot of space here for your kitchen. So kind of like the van, you have a sink that pops up right there and then moving around to the other side, not only do you have a lot of counter space, but you've got your cooktops here. And then a really nice component is the isotherm fridge and freezer setup. Here, these are two really nice units. This Ross Monster is entirely controlled by this iPad. So all the major functions can be controlled at a push of a button wherever you are in the vehicle to turn lights off, you can control your fridge, that kind of thing, all done via this iPad. Ross Monster prides itself in the quality of their craftsmanship and they really have done a nice job on the build out of this van. And I wanna stress this, when you do a build out with Ross Monster, everything is customizable. So a lot of companies have a basic floor plan. You can change a couple things here and there, but not not with Ross Monster. If you want to go wild, well, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. A couple other cool things in here are the heated floors, which is pretty cool. We talked about the roof mounted AC unit and the three year, 36,000 mile warranty. Now this truck build out has a lot of the same systems as a van, but you control it instead through this screen. So here we're pulled up on the light controls. So you've got a master switch and you can control some of the different zones there as well. 
course we have the control for the pop top here and then this is some of your other systems like your battery and your heating system it's a hydronic heater a lot like the van and you also have the same 30 gallons of water storage the price of a custom build all depends on what you want to include pricing on vans typically lands between $175,000 and $225,000 including the van and typical truck pricing is around $250,000 to $350,000 with the truck. It all comes down to your use case. I think if you're staying mostly on road, light dirt roads, light trails, the van is a great option. You get a really great view out of the world. It's a little bit more compact too for storage. But if you do want to go well off the beaten path, the truck does offer more flexibility, capability, and customizability from an off-road standpoint. Yeah, and exactly. I, the thing about these is that the price is all over the board because you can make it really any way that you want to. So depending on how you want to build them out, that's really going to dictate which one of these vehicles you would want to go with. Well, folks, if you want to know more information, be sure to check out Ross Monster. Get a hold of them and, and you know, they can set you up with pricing. They also do rentals and a lot of really cool things. But this has been Tommy. And Case. We'll see you in another episode over at alltfl.com.